Would you want to learn how to create a beautiful website yourself? This is Monar Shippon and I will show you how easily you can create a website using DB theme. Why you will study this tutorial or you will use DB theme. If you are a beginner for web design, it's not a problem. If you study this tutorial, it will be very easy for you to make a website yourself with DB theme. Because DB is very user friendly. Suppose this is my website, personal website, mycpatraining.com. I have designed this website with DB theme. I think uh, the website looks is very good for my targeted audience. And I am showing you how user friendly is DB interface. I am showing you one image from here. If I click here settings, image, you can delete it. And just one click you can add any image. Suppose like this way, add image. And you can do any design with your element uh, suppose I want to give some effect with this image I am going to design and uh, this is alignment we can change alignment sizing width height we can change it from here this way very easy and user friendly uh, suppose animation there are a lot of effects you can use for any element not for only images now i think you know how easy to design a website for a beginner with db theme so let's start i will show you full procedure for a web design with db theme for design a website first time you need a domain and you need hosting and for this you can search for google domain hosting you will get a lot of website you can purchase your domain hosting from any web hosting company i am showing you a most popular one extraorbit.com extraorbit.com and from here first time you have to search a domain uh, suppose like this way register a new domain you can search any domain like .com, .net, .org everything you can search uh, for your domain name suppose I am looking for a domain with my name search unavailable ok .net is available dot org is available dot in is available in this way you have to search your domain name and you have to select the domain name uh, suppose you like this domain just click on checkout now you have to make an account and give payment and in this way you can purchase domain if i go to extra orbit again there is unlimited hosting there are some plans for hosting packages you can choose any plan and i think you have already purchased domain and hosting okay when you purchase domain hosting, you will get domain control panel login password and you will get hosting or cPanel control panel login password. And now you have to set up WordPress on your hosting. And for this procedure, you have to log into your cPanel. And when you log in your cPanel, you will get this interface, a cPanel interface. And here you will get an option, software option or software app installer option. And here you will get WordPress. You have to click here WordPress install now and from here you have to select HTTPS and from here you can choose WordPress version and I will suggest you all time try to choose latest version and you have to select your domain address here and you can leave this box empty site title you have to give a site title here suppose I am giving here best top 10 and suppose site description best top 10 product username you have to give a username here and the password you have to give a password here suppose i am giving a password admin email uh, this is admin email you can use any email here select language you have to select your language from here select theme you have to select a theme uh, this is optional email installation details too you can give here an email address for WordPress admin area login details install and done now write your domain address on your browser and I know the username and I know the password this is username and this is password and our WordPress installation complete now if we check our website a visit site done now we have to clean up our website and uh, we have to do some important settings and this is a uh, front-end area this is front-end of our website and this is back-end area if we see our front-end area 
uh, here is a default post comes with wordpress setup hello world we have to delete this post before we delete this post if we click here post permalink coming with this format uh, with date format and i don't like this i don't want to show date with my post or pages and for these settings we have to go to settings permalinks and by default this is permalink settings day and time and we have to change it with post name save changes and now if we click here and this is the best format for wordpress website for any kinds of website okay we have to delete this post if we go to posts this one a default post trash and i am also deleting from trash delete permanently and you will get some pages default pages comes with wordpress setup you have to delete the pages I go to pages and select all pages privacy policy sample pages move to trash apply and we have to delete from trash uh, select all delete permanently apply and if you go to plugins you will get some plugins uh, by default comes with wordpress setup uh, suppose like this way okay i am deleting all the plugins delete apply okay all plugins deleted and we have to do some important settings if you go to users uh, this is our admin account this is our admin account with this email and if you click on edit you have to change some settings here uh, suppose you can change admin color scheme default and i think this one is good okay and uh, uh, this is our username admin here is showing uh, admin uh, nickname admin uh, but my nickname is not admin okay i am giving here my one of my youtube channel name by shipon p-a-i-s-h-i-p-o-n display name publicly as uh, by shipon okay i want to show this name uh, changed you can write a bio about yourself obviously you have to write bio related to your domain uh, suppose i am writing here i am web designer okay and here is the profile picture you can change it from a picture on gavatar i have already changed with my gmail you can change password from here and when you uh, change everything you have to click on update profile dashboard now we have to make pages uh, for our wordpress website and for this procedure just you have to go to pages add new uh, first time we need home page okay i am writing here home uh, publish publish we made a page called home page and we need another pages uh, suppose add new about us you will create pages as per your need about us publish and another page add new contact us uh, people will contact us with this page contact us publish and uh, another important page is add new blog we will show all posts on this blog page publish and uh, suppose we want to add some uh, service pages which we are providing to our customers add new suppose web design publish publish and uh, we need another page suppose marketing support okay actually pages depends on your needs you will create pages as per your need dashboard uh, now if we refresh our website uh, there is showing nothing uh, we have to add menu and we have to add pages to our menu okay i am showing the procedure and for adding menu to your website uh, just go to appearance and menus you will get this interface write a menu name here you can make uh, multiple menus for your website suppose we want to make main menu i am writing here main menu you can give any name create menu 
our main menu created this is our primary menu main menu that's why we will select primary and here is showing all the pages which is created by us and here is showing posts custom links we can make custom link menu from here categories we can add categories to our menu now we want to add pages view all uh, here is showing all pages select all add to menu this is home page about us blog contact us and we are doing some rearrange uh, suppose home services web design just click and drag and set where you want to show the menu marketing support blog about us contact us and save menu now if we refresh our website done home uh, service web design uh, marketing support about us contact us uh, suppose we need a drop down menu visitor when hover on uh, services uh, they will see these two menu web design and marketing support just come to menu design area and this is services just drag a little bit the menu which menu you want to show as a drop down like this way and save now if we refresh our website done dashboard now we have to change the home page to static page and for this procedure we have to go to settings uh, reading option i am selecting reading option and here is the home page displays by default your latest post we have to select this one we want to show a static page from home page we have to select home and from post page we have to select blog we want to show our posts on blog page and uh, we can change these posts options items options blog page show at most 10 posts we can change it and also we can change it for each article in a feed show full text summary you can select any one as per you need and finally save changes and now if we refresh our site now this is home page okay uh, let's talk about theme uh, this is default theme comes with wordpress installation but for nice looking design and for responsive design you have to change your theme suppose this way appearance themes and from here you have to change your theme uh, by default you will get some theme comes with wordpress installation uh, suppose now this one is active uh, this theme if i change this one active now if we see our website front page totally changed if you change your theme it will change your website design structure it will not change your content uh, suppose i am changing with this one activate now if i see our website front end totally changed but for professional design you have to use a premium themes okay we don't need these themes uh, free themes i am deleting all the themes suppose this one and this one i will suggest you to purchase a professional theme now i will show you how you can get the dv theme latest version for latest version uh, just go to mycpatraining.com my website you will get website link at video description and from here if you go here theme for web design and this is the best theme for web design nowadays and you will get the db theme latest version link here if you click here you will go to elegantthemes.com and if you go to pricing you will get all the information yearly access 89 dollar per year and uh, access to db extra bloom monarch hundreds of website packs product updates premium support unlimited website uses and this is the best part of DB theme if you purchase one package you can use for unlimited website package risk free guarantee and it's only for one year and one time fee uh, but uh, DB theme best option is you can purchase the theme for lifetime only for 249 dollar one time and access to db extra blue monarch hundreds of website packs lifetime updates lifetime premium support unlimited website uses risk free guarantee and one time fee and also you can use this package for unlimited website
unlimited website users and my suggestion is just to do a sign up here and get the theme for unlimited website just you have to click here sign up today and you have to give username email address password confirm password first name last name and you have to select your country and you have to select terms and condition agree okay complete registration now you have to give your card number card expired date month year and card cvc code and you have to pay when you pay you will get a mail from DB and you will get id password for login to this website and when you will log in to this website you can download DB theme and others information and you will get others free plugins with this package okay now you will install DB theme when you purchase DB theme you will get a zip file you can download a zip file from your DB account I have already downloaded the file for this procedure you have to go to themes add new and upload themes choose file and you will get a file a zip file like this one okay I am selecting this file and open and install now it will take few seconds to install installation complete now we can activate the theme now if we see our front end done uh, totally changed we have to customize the theme as per our needs now you have to go to DB theme options and you have to go to update options and when you purchase the theme you got a username and you got a API key in your DB accounts you have to give username here and you have to give API key here and you have to click on save changes I am not showing my username and API key now you will see how we can change logo and favicon for DB theme uh, this is the logo and uh, favicon appears right here okay for changing the logo we have to click here upload select files and I think uh, this one is my logo if you need nice logo you can hire worker from Fiverr set as logo and favicon for favicon uh, you can use favicon generator uh, like this one the ultimate favicon generator if you search on google favicon maker you will get a lot of sites like this one okay i am generating a favicon uh, generate from text suppose my name is monor shipon i want to give here m okay uh, nice looking i am downloading this one a favicon you will get it with zip folder and when you extract the file you will get all the sizes for your favicon if i click here upload upload files select files you can upload any size uh, suppose i am selecting this one 512 by 512 open set as favicon and now we have to do save changes now if we see our website front end area yes our logo changed and our favicon uh, changed okay and from general settings you can enable fixed navigation bar or disable fixed navigation bar you can enable DB gallery color pickers palette you can change the color settings as per your needs like this way and there is some options grab the first post image a blog style mode you can select sidebar layout right sidebar left sidebar suppose that is showing right sidebar uh, if I select a left sidebar and save changes if I refresh my website a left sidebar enabled okay now I am not changing this option save refresh and done also you can change shop page category page layout for WooCommerce uh, right sidebar left sidebar full width as per your need now we will learn how we can set uh, social icons on footer area like facebook twitter google plus rss okay uh, for db theme there is the options db options uh, general settings uh, facebook profile url we have to give her our facebook fan page or profile url uh, suppose i am giving my facebook profile url uh, this is my facebook profile url i am copying from here facebook.com slash monoarshipon I am pasting here facebook profile url and uh, twitter profile url ok I am giving my twitter profile url twitter.com slash vishipon v a i s h i p o n I am taking this link 
copy address profile link and uh, pasting here on the Twitter profile URL uh, Google Plus URL suppose I don't need this I am deleting this hashtag RSS I don't need this okay I am giving here a Facebook profile URL and Twitter profile URL save changes you can use all URLs now if we see our front end of our website and if I click here this is my Facebook URL and if I click here this is my Twitter URL Twitter profile URL now we will see how we can page design with visual builder and if I click here enable visual builder I will design home page build from scratch you can use this option or choose a pre-made layout you can use this option or clone existing page you can use this option uh, suppose I need pre-made design uh, that's why I'm clicking here browse layouts and there are a lot of designs uh, pre-made design you can use any one uh, suppose if I take this you can view live demo if you choose this design uh, this is your home page style you can redesign after installation pre-made layouts I can choose any one uh, view demo close pre-made layouts there are a lot of categories art and design business community and non-profit education events uh, fashion and beauty food and drink health and fitness lifestyle online store service simple uh, technology you can use any one suppose I am taking this one and use this layout in this way you can download any design now we will redesign our slider or we will make a new slider and for this procedure just you have to go to enable visual builder for design modes and we can redesign this slider suppose uh, this is slider 2 and this is slider 1 suppose we need change this option uh, background option or text uh, we can click here module settings welcome to our website this one is this slider if we want to change this slider we have to click on this gear icon I'm clicking here and here is welcome to our website selected uh, suppose I am changing here welcome to my CPA training my CPA training and background if I want to change background uh, this background is selected here I have deleted this background and if I click here suppose I want a image here suppose this one selected and my background is changed done suppose I want to create a new slider uh, just I have to delete this section delete and if you need another section uh, just click on this option add a new section there are three different option regular speciality full width if I click on regular uh, you will get regular sizes suppose if I click here again uh, this blue plus icon if I select speciality uh, there is lot of different sections uh, critical sections if you need this section you can select from here and if I click this blue icon plus icon again I need full width that's why I am selecting this one and there is a uh, so many modules you can use we need full width slider we can select here or you can search here uh, suppose I am selecting full width slider if you click on this plus icon uh, you can select images text everything from here suppose I need a background image there are four options colors gradient image and videos suppose first time I am selecting colors I am deleting this one plus icon and I am taking this color I can change any color uh, suppose I am taking this one okay done you can move these sections uh, where you want just place mouse here uh, this icon and drag it to the area where you need this slider uh, suppose I need a background here I am clicking on this gear icon and this settings option this slider settings options and from background I am deleting this color and from image I am selecting image upload files select files I have selected this file upload an image and done okay okay now if we need uh, some content here 
if I click here this module settings and if I click here gear icon uh, suppose heading I want to give here a heading I am writing here my we need a call to action button I am writing here see more and from design section we can uh, redesign these options text uh, you can change any text orientation uh, suppose I like this option you can give text shadow I have to change text shadow color you will understand uh, for your understand I am clicking here suppose this is my text shadow color now if I change this option suppose I am taking this one now if I uh, change these options you will uh, better understand title text uh, heading 2 you can select heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 heading 4 heading 5 uh, heading 6 I am taking heading 2 you can change font from here bold font regular bold ultra bold title text alignment you can change uh, title text alignment uh, suppose I am taking this one text color you can change text color from here letter spacing you can change title letter spacing title line height you can change uh, line height as per you need uh, title text shadow uh, filters you can change filters button button alignment you can change button alignment from here custom padding you can use custom padding here uh, suppose 20 20 20 20 pixel use custom button styles for button I am selecting yes a uh, button text size uh, you can change button text size a uh, button text color you can change button text color from here button background color you can change button background color image uh, suppose I am taking white okay and uh, button border color you can also change button border color button border radius uh, you can maintain button border radius button font you can change button font you can change all element font font style you can choose font style there are a lot of font styles show button icon you can use button icon uh, I'm selecting yes uh, suppose I want to give here a button icon suppose this one okay a button icon color uh, suppose we are selecting this color and uh, button icon placement here is selected right side I am selecting left side or you can select right side only show icon on hover for button yes and button hover text color you can change it button hover background color you can change it button hover border color button hover border radius you can also change button hover border radius alignment text shadow you can use text shadow and you can change horizontal length vertical length for button text shadow a shadow color you can change shadow color you can use box shadow there are a lot of option you can customize a box shadow position inner shadow outer shadow and suppose we want to give some text here total outsourcing affiliate CPA marketing training total outsourcing affiliate CPA marketing training now we need to style this option a text option if we go here design and text and here you will get body text uh, this is body text body font you can change font from here suppose I am using this font okay uh, font style you can choose font style and uh, there are a lot of styles body alignment you can choose body alignment a uh, body text size you can change body text size a uh, text color shadow everything you can change from here okay done suppose I want to change this image background image I am 
clicking here gear icon and this gear icon settings icon and from a background I am deleting this image and select upload files select files uh, suppose I need this background upload an image and done but uh, the size is not full height a theme customizer and go to additional CSS write this code here and you can change uh, this height easily from here 350 or uh, 300 suppose I am taking here 250 or 200 done and publish close now if we refresh the site uh, we have to click on exit visual builder and save the settings now if we refresh our site and done and we have to give here uh, some space here enable visual builder and uh, click on this settings icon settings design uh, suppose top 100 pixel or 200 pixel and done and we can change these options easily uh, this color is not so good I am changing this color design text title text title text color suppose I am taking this color okay done let's make another copy of this slider enable visual builder for duplicate our slide we have to go to this option module settings and uh, we can duplicate or copy this slide uh, just you have to click here duplicate icon I am clicking here we made another copy of our this slide now we will edit this uh, this slide new slide I am selecting this gear icon suppose we want to edit this slide we have to go to settings module settings and we have to go to uh, this slide settings and now background here is a image here is a image here we can use parallax effect and uh, we can use gradient effect but gradient effect not showing here I am removing the image for showing gradient beautifully suppose I am taking this color redial effect a linear effect and you can change gradient direction as per your need start position end position in this way you can make variation with your sliders suppose I am taking this one and done okay uh, suppose I will make another copy I am clicking here and make a copy of this slide suppose I want to edit this slide settings our promotional video I want to make a, a video here uh, for this slide settings uh, this one settings and uh, if we go to background delete this option and uh, we will set a video from here a background video mp4 I'm selecting suppose I'm uploading a file a file is uploading and done upload a video okay okay exit visual builder save and exit this is our first slide this one is our second slide and this one is our third slide with a video and in this way you can make nice sliders with DB theme now we will set here a blurb module this is a nice module for any kinds of design okay let me show you enable visual builder uh, suppose I need a another section I am clicking here uh, this button plus icon add new section and uh, I need regular option I will take modules as per my need uh, suppose I need blurb module if I write here B L U R B uh, this is blurb module there are a lot of modules you can use I will show you okay I am taking this one suppose I am writing here some text by ship on and I am writing here some text I am writing just demo text by ship on is one of my 
uh, YouTube channel name and from image I can take a image upload image uh, suppose I need this image upload and done okay if I go to design uh, if I go to title text uh, see I can change uh, title text heading level okay I am taking this one and uh, title font I can use any font a uh, font weight bold title font style title underline color you can change underline color okay I am not taking this one title text size you can uh, change title text size from here and there is lot of options uh, you can change uh, body text you can change body font body font weight regular you can change every every element letter specific body line height text shadow suppose if I go to content and text uh, we can change alignment from here and if I go to design a custom margin suppose 10 pixel 10 pixel 10 pixel 10 pixel and if I go to content background I want to give a background suppose color if I give a color here uh, this color or if I give this one okay text okay text orientation I am taking this text orientation and suppose if I go to image and icon image rounded corner uh, suppose 100 pixel done you can choose as per you need image border style you can change image border style image border width you can set image border width you can change image border color suppose I am taking this one and uh, image border style solid groovy dashed dotted double this one inset outset none okay I am taking uh, this one and you can change these options image invert image sepia you can use all the options image opacity image blur image blend mode normal lighten soft light a lot of options multiply I am taking normal animation if I go to animation you can give animation effect a lot of effects okay I am taking none done and there is a three column one column two column three column and we can uh, fill up the three column easily and after that we can modify the columns with our images and text suppose like this way I am copying this blurb with this icon a duplicate module and here another is duplicated just point your mouse pointer here and click on drag it to the to the second column and make another duplicate module blurb click and duplicate and select and drag it to the third column done now you can easily change the text and images let me show you if I go to this module settings uh, suppose I want to change the image image and icon I am deleting this one upload uh, suppose this one and done and in this way you can play with blurb module website design with a DB theme you must have to know some settings the main settings is section column and module and um, every with this button plus icon if you click here you can create a section a regular section and every section start with columns uh, there is two column there is three column there is a four column like this way and you can add from library suppose if I click here again speciality 
there are critical settings if you need this kind of settings you can take from here and you can add from library suppose if I click here again you can take full width suppose I am taking regular option and I need three column I am selecting this option uh, suppose I need blurb module blurb I am taking this blurb module and in this way you can take section columns column 1 column 2 column 3 and you can add any kinds of module here now I think it's clear I am deleting this section and I am showing you again with this plus icon this color plus regular and I am taking two columns and I can take any kind of module suppose button okay I am deleting this section and suppose I want to decrease this or increase this space like this way just click and drag and uh, suppose I want to decrease this space just click and drag and there is lot of options uh, you can modify as per your need and here is the wireframe view you can see wireframe view from here and you can edit these sections columns modules and if you click here again you will see the full view editing view and here is the desktop view tablet view you can edit also all kinds of view suppose I want to decrease this space for tablet view and mobile view you can also edit these views suppose I want to increase this space for mobile view and you can see work history press ctrl H see my work history suppose if I click here this is my work history for this time if I click here in this way you can underado your work okay even you can save your work suppose like this way save row to library you can save your work like row section everything you can save for future use and suppose I am saving these settings as section save template as a template I am saving this work blurb 7 okay save to library and now I need this this blurb option there I am taking a regular option new section and add from library this is blurb section and done now see how easy work with DB theme and obviously you have to click on save button uh, for save your last work suppose we want to use videos these blurb options blurb modules and for this procedure you have to go to enable visual builder and you know very well all elements are changeable suppose I want to change this image and I want to add a video here I am clicking here settings icon and from image and icon I am deleting this image okay now I need a video option here video module and if I click here and I search for video video module here is video and here is video slider I am using video a video mp4 URL there you have to give your video URL suppose if I go to my Bengali channel by Shippon I want to give this video address I am clicking here and copy video URL and I am pasting here done okay now I can drag it to the upper side I have to make some changes here settings uh, design custom padding 20 pixel and done okay now we will use video with another way uh, suppose I need a section I am clicking here regular and one column row video uh, this is a video and here we have to give our video URL suppose I want to give same video okay and done 
and uh, I want to decrease some space here now I think we know how we can set uh, videos for our website suppose we want to use a text module here before this I have to give some padding here I am clicking this settings icon and design a custom margin I am giving here a 10 pixel or 12 and it's okay and now I need a text module I am clicking here new module text uh, suppose I will set here some content I am showing you with demo content copy paste we can do alignment from here and done okay and we can do settings for this text as per our needs I am going to settings suppose uh, design background I am giving a color here suppose this one and uh, I have to give some padding here 10 10 10 all side I am using 10 pixel padding custom padding ok and now we have to resize uh, this box settings design custom margin I am deleting custom margin uh, from content text I can delete some text from here and now I think it's okay and we can change font color and we can play with this text suppose I want to set a gallery here and for this procedure we have to enable visual builder and we have to click here this plus icon for a new section regular I am taking one column row and if I search here gallery and this is the gallery module and these pictures automatically updated from my gallery I have to update my gallery I have already uploaded the picture uh, suppose I need these four pictures one two three and four add to gallery update gallery and now here is showing file names go to elements show title and caption make it no uh, show pagination make it no and from design sections from sizing you can give size uh, for your images even you can do other settings from here like uh, design animation okay I am doing none okay and suppose I want to set this images uh, like slider I want to set this images here I am deleting this image images and icon uh, suppose I am deleting this one okay and now I need a module gallery module ZA and this image is updated from my gallery I have to update gallery uh, suppose one two three four uh, these four images I need add to gallery update gallery and now I have to go to elements I have to select no for title and caption and pagination I have to select no and from design section I have to go to layout and I am selecting slider now it will make a slider okay I am deleting this one and done uh, but all image size are not same suppose if I go here and uh, from update gallery I am removing this one and removing this one these two files are same size update gallery when you are choosing images for gallery you have to use same size images ok and done uh, suppose I can make another copy from settings from update gallery I can close these two pictures and I can go to add to gallery suppose here I am selecting uh, these two files add update gallery ok now I think you know how you can play with DV gallery module uh, suppose we will set three button here uh, first time uh, here is some spacing problem 
suppose I want to set a text effect here if I click here uh, for module text I am taking a text module and suppose I want to write here my channel name Vaishipon V A S H I P O N and done uh, this one suppose I want to set this text here just click here and drag it where you want to set it and let's do some modify alignment uh, middle alignment and bold and background I want to give same color and done now it's perfect okay now we will set a three button here and if I click here add a module button I am taking this button module and suppose I am writing here for button click here click here and we have to go to design option alignment suppose middle alignment button alignment I am taking center and text uh, we can set light text we can set dark text button use custom styles for button obviously we will use custom styles for button yes text size you can give any text size uh, from here just uh, click and drag button text color we can change button text color from here suppose this one is uh, my button text color or uh, this one button background color we can set button background color even we can set a gradient effect suppose I am changing from here I think this one is okay and uh, gradient type you can choose gradient type redial linear I think this one is okay gradient direction we can change uh, gradient direction start position ending position place gradient above background image I'm selecting this one and uh, button border width we can select a button border width suppose this one is okay button border color we can change button border color suppose this one button border radius we can maintain button border radius suppose this one is okay button font we can change button font from here suppose I am taking this font font style we can choose font style button icon we can set button icon here suppose I am taking this icon button icon color we can set button icon color uh, suppose this one button hover text color we can change button hover text color you can see preview here okay I am changing color suppose this one looks good button hover background color we can change it button hover border color we can change it button hover border radius we can change it done and we can use button text shadow suppose uh, this one or this one or this one and we can change button text shadow vertical length button text shadow blur strength button text shadow color we can give a shadow color from here suppose this one box shadow we can use box shadow and I think this one is good we can change box shadow horizontal position box shadow vertical position box shadow blur strength box shadow spared strength shadow color we can change shadow color inner shadow outer shadow we can select any one I think inner shadow is good for this button and we can use filters animation okay our button is ready now we can save this button for future use save module to library I am clicking here suppose I am giving the name button 77 I am giving a category name suppose button save to library and now we can set this button here and here suppose like this way module add from library this is our button and done suppose we want to set a button here we can insert the button same way here and another way is we can do a copy and just click and drag where you want to set it
now these buttons are empty we have to set here target link uh, suppose in this button we want to set blog page this page settings link here is the button url this way slash page name blog b l o z slash blog and done now if someone if someone click here the person will go to our blog page uh, suppose here i want to set contact page contact us uh, this is our contact us option page address copy settings link and here is contact us done suppose here i want to set our youtube channel address youtube.com slash bhai i am copying this link copy settings and link and here is the link done exit visual builder save and exit i am showing you just uh, click here blog page just click here contact us page just click here our youtube channel and now enable visual builder suppose if i go to any button settings and here is link url options in the same window we have selected url options in the same window that's why it's opening in the same window we can use in the new tab as per our need okay and in this way you can set button for your website with db theme now you will see how we can work with icon uh, for db theme uh, there is a interface uh, made with icon we can redesign this section or we can make it ourselves enable visual builder uh, first we need a section i am clicking here this plus icon this color regular and i am taking a uh, three column row this one suppose we will do this design with blurb i am taking blurb module and uh, title i am taking this title just copying and paste title and uh, description and we need a image image and icon we will use here icon use icon suppose i am taking an icon from here suppose this one content text we can modify this text suppose center alignment and design title text suppose this one is good heading level title font we can change font and uh, font weight we can change font weight title text alignment suppose this one we can give shadow effect and there are a lot of functions image and icon we can change image color we will change image color but first time i think we need a background color content background i am giving a color here suppose this one and now we need some padding design custom padding suppose 10 or 15 top 15 right 15 bottom 15 left 15 you will use padding as per your needs uh, suppose i need another color content background suppose red color we have to change our text color design text text color light and done now we will change icon color design image and icon select color suppose i need this color okay white color circle icon uh, we can make it circle image icon placement we can change image icon placement top left like this one okay suppose i need top placement use icon font size we can change icon font size just drag and drop show circle border yes circle border color we can change circle border color suppose this way A circle color we can choose circle color done okay now we have to make three copies duplicate just click here and drag it where you want to place it and another one duplicate click and drag and paste this is blank row we don't need it delete 
and suppose we don't need this one delete and here is some spacing problem and we have to decrease some space from here and done and in this way you can play with icon with db theme now we will see how we can create a simple client section and for this procedure we need a section new section i am clicking here this plus icon add new section icon regular and i am taking four column row i will use four images image i am taking a image image module and i am uploading my first image upload select files suppose this is the first one upload image and done and the second one i am taking module with this plus icon this color plus icon image upload and this is the second one and done and the third one or we can duplicate these modules third one and fourth one image upload upload files select files and fourth one and done and if you want to resize the images uh, just go to this settings options and design and sizing and from here you can uh, resize the images with done uh, suppose this one settings design sizing perfect and if i go here design sizing okay and this one design sizing and in this way you can do sizing for all images now suppose you want to give link with these images just you have to go to module settings and you have to go to link and you have to give here link address that's it okay and done now we will see layout settings for DV theme and for this procedure we have to go to DV theme options layout and we can do some settings from here single post layout single page layout settings general settings and we have to go to theme customizer and from general settings you will get this option layout settings and now our website looks is like this but if we check this box enable box layout and publish and if we refresh our website now our website looks is like a box and i think uh, this one is perfect publish and if you see a website looks like a mobile uh, for mobile version just press ctrl minus from keyboard you will get desktop version and if you press ctrl plus you will get mobile version i am doing for desktop version ctrl minus and here is the option website content width you can resize content width with this slider website gutter width this width you can resize this width with this slider just drag and drop and i think this one is perfect and here is another option use custom sidebar width it will control your sidebar width if you don't like the changes just click here undo button section width you can control section width with this slider see a section width increasing and decreasing row height you can control row height this is a row see row height increasing and decreasing and here is another option theme accent color if you select a color from here this color will affect your website theme for many places suppose like this one now this color is selected if i change this color suppose this one see uh, this color changed and you can do settings for tablet version you can do settings for mobile version publish now i think this is perfect
refresh and in this way you can change layout settings for the with him now we will see how we can do typography settings for the with him for this procedure we have to go to theme customizer DB theme customizer and from general settings you will get this option typography if I click here you will get all the options for typography settings suppose body text size you can change body text size from here just click and drag under body line height you can change body line height this way just click and drag header text size you can change header text size this way just click and drag a header letter spacing you can change header letter spacing just click and drag header line height you can change header line height just click and drag header font style you can change header font style from here suppose bold italic this way header font you can choose header font from here a lot of fonts suppose i am selecting here railway body font you can choose body font from here body link color you can change body link color from here body text color you can choose body text color from here suppose this way i am choosing default header text color you can change header text color from here suppose this way and i think this one is perfect publish refresh and in this way you can play with typography settings for db theme now you will see how we can configure the background of the website and for this procedure we have to go to db theme customization and here you will get an option general settings if you click here you will get an option layout settings and for background a uh, change background first time you have to enable this option enable boxed layout enable this is the background we have to change this background and if we go to back side here is the background and if i click here you can select color uh, for background like this way like this way clear or you can select image i am selecting a image upload files select files suppose this one choose image and done and in this way you can change your website background for db theme i am removing this image and i am going back and from layout settings i will disable this option because i don't like background for my website publish and refresh and i think website looks good without background now we will learn how we can configure the menu for db theme uh, for this procedure we have to go to db a theme customizer and here you will get an option header and navigation if i click here you will get this format here header format primary menu bar secondary menu bar fixed navigation settings header elements if i click here header format uh, this is default format selected here header format if i change it centered this is the centered format and if i change it to centered inline logo this is the format uh, for centered inline logo and if i change it to side in this is side in format for menu bar and if i change it to full screen uh, this is full screen format for menu bar you can use any one suppose i am taking default option and also you can use this one enable vertical navigation uh, here is left side selected you can change it to right side suppose i am deselecting this one hide navigation until you scroll if i select it when you scroll or when visitor scroll the website they will see the menu otherwise they don't see the menu i am deselecting this one uh, default okay i am going back primary menu bar if i select primary menu bar you can select make full width you can select hide logo image if you select this one a logo image will be height okay menu height you can control menu height uh, from this 
slider you can increase menu height you can decrease menu height and uh, suppose this one is good logo maximum height you can select logo maximum height suppose i want to give 100 percent letter spacing you can set letter spacing uh, this way suppose this one is good font you can select font from here suppose i need this font you can choose font style for menu bold underline italic capital text color you can select text color from here for menu suppose this color is okay you can control transparency active link color uh, you can select active link color from here suppose I think uh, this one is okay active link background color you can select menu background color suppose I think uh, this one is okay you can make transparent for menu background color suppose I think uh, this one is okay but if I select this color I have to change menu color text color select color suppose now I think it's okay and active color obviously we have to change active color uh, for this color settings done and now we have to select drop down menu background color select suppose uh, drop down menu color we are making it transparent and I think it's okay drop down menu link color suppose this one drop down menu text color text color I need this color and done okay nicely done and we can select drop down menu animation from here suppose a fade this is fade animation if I select expand uh, this is expand option expand animation if I select slide uh, this is slide animation if I select flip uh, this is flip animation and I think expand is good one okay publish I am going back uh, for secondary maneuver first time we have to go to header elements suppose uh, from here we can select show search icon this one we can deselect this one or select this one show social icon we can select this one this settings will show social icon on secondary maneuver and here we can give our phone number and email address uh, suppose I am taking my phone number from my CPA training .com, my main website copy and paste I am not giving email address you can use email address publish but here is showing nothing if you refresh website here you will get secondary menu bar and from here you can uh, control secondary menu bar and if I refresh this page uh, here is secondary menu bar is showing now we have to go to header and navigation header element okay done uh, suppose we don't want to show social icons publish and if we go back uh, secondary menu bar now we can control secondary menu bar text size we can control text size from this slider letter spacing we can control letter spacing suppose this one font we can change font from here bold uh, we can choose font style background color now we need this background color uh, select this one and make it transparent I think it's okay done text color we can change text color suppose this one is the text color and we can select drop down color drop down text color animation and publish when we are scrolling website we have to change this menu color okay if we go to back side fixed navigation settings uh, from fixed navigation settings we can uh, do these settings suppose active color we can we want to change active color active color suppose red okay now it's okay and uh, we need to change this color suppose this one is okay publish going back now if we uh, 
uh, refresh our website and done and nicely done and in this way you can play with your menu for the with him now we will see some animation effect enable visual builder i am clicking here add new section uh, this plus icon regular and i am taking two column row image i am taking image module upload image uh, suppose i am taking this image and okay and from here i will take another module image module this one upload image suppose i am taking this image uh, this is not same size okay i am changing it suppose this one done now we will see animation effects uh, this module this image module settings and if i go to design and here is animation a fade effect slide effect bounce effect zoom effect flip effect fold effect and roll effect suppose i am giving here slide effect okay and in this image i am giving same effect slide okay exit visual builder save and exit now if we see our effects wow and in this way you can play with dv animation effects now we will see responsive settings for dv theme and for this procedure you have to go to a dashboard dv theme customizer and here you will get this option mobile styles if i click here uh, this is tablet version this is tablet version and from here you can change these settings section height row height you can change row height like this way suppose we need decrease row height body text size you can control body text size from here header text size you can control header text size publish i am going back phone settings and here is phone settings you can control everything from here suppose we can control section height row height row height we can decrease row height we can decrease section height and i think it's okay and body text size we can control body text size header text size now i think it's okay publish suppose i think we need to do tablet settings uh, section height we have to decrease uh, section height and row height body text we have to increase body text size suppose this one is perfect header text size we can increase or decrease header text size okay suppose section height i am increasing section height uh, for this button looks good publish now mobile menu and same way you can do a mobile menu settings you can hide logo image or show logo image you can do color settings for mobile menu you can change text color background color publish close and in this way you can do responsive settings for your website with db theme now you will see animation delay time and for this procedure we need a new section uh, this plus icon i am clicking here regular uh, suppose i need two column row i am selecting two column row and i need image image delete i need a image here suppose this one and done i am doing a duplicate and click and drag where you want to set it and i am changing this image delete suppose this one and done now we will give some animation effects suppose i am going to this module settings and uh, from design i am going to animation we can give any animation
you can change animation direction from here center right left up down and animation duration you can select animation duration you can control animation duration and animation delay time you can control animation starting opacity animation speed curve lot of functions you can select animation repeat option once loop I am selecting once okay and you can play with animation delay time and other settings with the within now we will see image parallax effect enable visual builder suppose this is a slider image I will give parallax effect in this image and I am going to module settings image module settings and slider settings uh, from background I can enable it use parallax effect uh, before this I want to show you some settings suppose a background image size cover selected if I select fit uh, this is fit size if I select actual size this is actual size of image I am selecting cover and background image position we can change background image position lots of position here top left top center top right center left center center right bottom left bottom center bottom right I am selecting top left background image repeat you can select here lot of options here background image blend mode you can change it multiply screen overlay color does hard light soft light difference lots of settings here suppose I am using normal and I am selecting a parallax effect and ok ok now if I scroll I see our image have parallax effect and in this way you can give parallax effect for your slider image for DB theme now we will see how we can set dividers for our uh, DB sections and for this procedure you have to go to enable visual builder and uh, you have to go to section settings option and from here if you go to design option you will get this option dividers if I click here there is two options top bottom you can set dividers on top you can set dividers on bottom suppose I want to set dividers bottom divider style here is lot of style you can set suppose this one you can choose color and divider height you can change divider height divider horizontal repeat you can play with this divider flip option and if I change it suppose this one or this one I am changing one by one and see you can give nice effects for section for any section of the theme suppose if I take this one okay I am taking this one and see divider height you can change divider height I am changing the color okay and you can play with this divider option for your DB theme for DB theme sections now we will see DB module if I enable visual builder and if I uh, take a section new section regular suppose one column row 
and here is the modules and here is the modules for uh, db theme suppose uh, this one accordion audio bar counters blog blurb button call to action circle counter code comments contact form countdown timer divider email opt-in fitable portfolio gallery image login map menu number counter person portfolio post navigation post slider post title pricing tables search shop sidebar slider social media follow tabs testimonial text toggle video video slider you can use any modules uh, for your design and all are user friendly for design now i will show you how you can make footer area for db theme go to dashboard and from dashboard go to widgets appearance widgets and here you will get these options footer area 1 footer area 2 footer area 3 footer area 4 footer area 5 footer area 6 uh, for footer we can set anything suppose footer area 1 i want to use pages footer area 1 click here and select footer area 1 and add widget and done you can give a title sort by you can select sort by page title page order page id okay suppose a uh, footer area 2 i want to add a image footer area 2 add widget and done you can give a image title here add image suppose i am adding this image and you can link any page to this image save suppose i want to give a video here footer area 3 video footer area 3 add with get you can give a title add video insert from url suppose i want to give a video from my youtube channel vaishipon youtube.com slash vaishipon p a i s h i p o n i am copying this video url and here i am pasting video url add to widget and done and save suppose i want to add this widget footer area 4 add widget and here is about me i am web designer and affiliate cpa marketer suppose phone number phone i am copying from my cpa training.com this is my phone number suppose i am giving here skype id copy and paste save now if i refresh my website done but we have to do some modification now if i go to db theme customizer and here is the footer a bottom bar suppose this is bottom bar we can change it design by suppose i am pasting here design by by shipon and powered by suppose mycpatraining.com copy and paste and here is changing publish and if i go to backside layout uh, from here we can choose layout and we can select color suppose uh, this is black color suppose i need this color okay and publish now we will learn how can we give blog post if i open blog page here is showing nothing because we have no blog post the first time we have to do uh, some blog post suppose i am doing a post and for this we have to go to post add new uh, first time we have to give a title suppose uh, this is my first post you will write your post title this is demo website that's uh, only for tutorial purpose that's why i am writing this way first post build your layout using db you can use db builder or you can use default editor i am using default editor uh, suppose we need some text we need some image if you click here this plus button you will uh, get a add block option and here is lot of block options image heading paragraph gallery list quote audio cover file and many more 
layout elements, widgets, short codes, embeds, a lot of element you can use from here. Uh, suppose uh, first time I need an image. I am clicking here add image media library. We have some images here. Suppose I am taking this one and we can select image size from here. Thumbnail, medium, large, full size. Suppose I am taking medium size and a visibility public, a post from a standard gallery link video. You can use these options as per your need. Stick to the top of the blog. If you need this post will fixed on your blog, just you have to select this option. Uh, you can change permalinks from here. Categories. You can choose categories. Suppose here is uncategorized selected. Add new category. You can give any category as per your post. Add new category. Tags. You can use tags for SEO purpose. A featured image. You can use a featured image for this post. Suppose set image. I think this one is my featured image. Excerpt. This one is optional. You can write a excerpt. Discussion allow comments ping backs and track backs if you need you have to select it or you think uh, these two options are not helpful for you just deselect the options DB page settings page layout right sidebar left sidebar no sidebar full width choose as per your need suppose i am choosing right sidebar hide navigation before scroll you can choose default on off as per your need i am choosing default publish publish and now uh, if I see the post this is our post and see here is showing double image same image uh, showing two times one image is from a uh, featured image and another one is from this one this is by default uh, DB settings layout settings uh, you have to change it from layout settings DB theme option and if you go to layout this is the option place thumbs on post you have to disable this option disable save changes now if I refresh the post done but here is uh, showing nothing because we don't have any text or something like that now I need uh, some text here I am searching on Google dummy text suppose this one dummy text I am using dummy text copy and paste and uh, you can use formatting for text suppose i am using this one heading to selected you can use heading 3 suppose you want to link with text suppose i will link my cpa training.com with this text i am selecting this one create link i am pasting my address and you have to click here if you need if someone click here the website will open in new tab you have to select this one open in new tab and done and here is the link created uh, for my cpa training.com suppose i want to give uh, some text again dummy text copy i am clicking here for add block okay suppose paragraph paste and now i want to give here a picture image if I click here, uh, there are uh, block settings, hide block settings, duplicate, insert before, insert after, edit as HTML, add to reusable blocks, remove blocks. Suppose I am taking this one, insert before, I am taking a image. From media library, we have some images. Uh, suppose this one, I am selecting medium and we can use these settings. Suppose align left align center align right and you can uh, change the size from here or just click and drag and this edit image uh, just you can change image with one click clicking on edit image suppose this one and done update view post and this is our post here is our link image uh, suppose we will make a copy of this post just we have to go here and we have to go to code editor and here is the code full code I am copying all the code control C control A control C copy 
control a for all select control c for copy and i will make another post all posts add new suppose this one is my second post and use default editor now first time i am doing publish close and close and if i click here code editor and i have to paste the code here update now if i go to visual editor same post just i made a duplicate copy of post view post same post for better understanding i am changing this image edit suppose this one insert and update now if i go to blog page first post and second post now i think we clear how we can work with blog post for the with him now we will see how we can use accordion module enable visual builder and for a section just click this button new section i am taking regular section suppose one column row and this is the module accordion and with accordion module you will get this interface title your title goes here and description and you can edit both items suppose i want to edit this one settings your title will goes here here you have to give your title and you have to change this text as per your need description and for design mode you have to go to design suppose title text you can change color title font style you can choose a title font style alignment you can choose alignment from here text size you can increase or decrease text size title letter spacing you can change it line height title line height you can change line height text shadow you can use text shadow title text shadow horizontal length title text shadow vertical length title text shadow blur strength you can change any one title text shadow color you can give a shadow color here or you can choose color from here even you can use transparent and done now i want to change this one i am going to settings text you can change text here like this way and body text you can change body text suppose i am writing some text here and you can modify formattings and if you want to do design you have to go to this option and from title text you can change title text color like this way font you can choose font font style text alignment title text size you can choose title text size title letter spacing title line height title text shadow everything you can change from here text shadow color and done okay now if i click here see suppose i want to edit some color settings settings suppose this one design title text i am changing the colors done and settings these settings design i am changing the color and okay done when i am clicking here this one open and this one is closed and if i click here this one closed and this one is open and in this way you can make this kind of effects for your website with accordion module for dv theme now we will see how we can use audio module for dv theme enable visual builder and for a section just click here this plus icon i am clicking here and i am taking regular one column row we can take any column row any size this one audio module i am clicking here or i am taking it uh, this is our audio module we can change it uh, suppose background i am changing background color or we can take background image or we can give gradient effect like this way or we can uh, change color from here gradient color and we can make it transparent and from text uh, we can change title and uh, we can change artist name everything we can control from here and for audio we have to go to this option audio and upload and you can upload audio files from upload files i have already uploaded a file i am selecting this file mp3 file 
and upload an audio file and done if I play okay in this way we can use audio module uh, for DB theme now we will see how we can work with bar counter module for DB theme enable visual builder and uh, for new column just click here this plus icon regular uh, suppose I am taking one column row and this is bar counters module I am taking this one and uh, if you want to modify this bar counter just click here this settings and here you have to give your title bar counter title suppose I want to show my success ratio my training success ratio suppose our ratio a percent is suppose 87 percent and you can add link you can change background uh, suppose I am giving a color background color suppose this one gradient effect you can use gradient effect and if you want to design this section just go to design option and bar you want to change the bar I click on bar select color suppose you want to show this color and text you can change text from here text alignment you can give text shadow effect everything you can change from here text shadow horizontal length text shadow vertical length text shadow blur strength text shadow color you can choose text shadow color title text you can change font you can choose font weight suppose bold and uh, title font style text alignment text color uh, suppose I am changing the color title text size you can give title text size from here line height text shadow everything you can change from here percentage text you can change percentage text font suppose this one and uh, font weight font style you can choose font style you can give color from here percentage text size you can choose uh, percentage text size letter spacing line height text shadow everything you can control from here and done done now I think we know how we can work with bar counters module for DB theme now we will learn how you can use blog module for DB theme and for this procedure you have to enable visual builder I am taking a section with this plus icon add new section uh, suppose I am taking regular and one column row and here is blog module I am taking this module and our blog posts are ready and from here you can choose post type post pages you can show pages and uh, media you can show media projects you will get project settings a dashboard here is projects you can make a lot of projects and you can show projects here as like blog post okay suppose we want to show our post I have two posts for this website demo post post count you can select post count from here suppose I am selecting one here is showing one post if I select two here is showing two post in this way you can select any number of post here included categories you can select categories from where you want to show posts date format you can change date format content length you can choose content length show excerpt and show content if you select show content here will show full content or you can show this one post length you can choose post length post offset number you can choose post offset number and here is a nice option you can edit from the post uh, suppose I want to edit this title I am clicking here and here is the edit option I can select it as per my need suppose title font I can change title font and font weight I can choose font weight font style you can choose color text size letter spacing line height text shadow you can change everything from here suppose you want to edit this option I am clicking here and here is the editing option you can change it from here meta font you can change meta font 
meta font weight style same way you can change everything from here suppose we want to edit this option image option if i click here you will get editing option here image rounded corners suppose i am giving here 150 and then image border style you can choose image border style image top border width you can play with it and you can change color for image top border color suppose like this way image top border style you can choose styles a lot of styles here just dotted double and uh, groovy ridge inset outset none okay i am giving here solid image box shadow you can choose a image box shadow suppose like this way and you can give box shadow horizontal position you can change it box shadow vertical position you can change it box shadow blur strength you can change it box shadow spared strength also you can change it from here color you can give a color like this way box shadow position you can choose box shadow positions suppose outer shadow inner shadow i am choosing here outer shadow and you can control all image editing options like this way image sepia you can choose image opacity image blur image blend mode a lot of mode here you can choose from here and in this way you can play with blog post where you want to set blog post for your website with DV theme now we will know how we can use code module for DV theme enable visual builder and for a row just click here this plus icon regular I am taking one column row and this is code module I am taking this code module and here you have to paste your code you can show anything with this code option I am showing you with video suppose this is one of my video channel by Shippon suppose I want to show this video here I need code I am opening this video and from here share I need embed code you can use any embed code this code option I am copying this code copy and paste and done and in this way you can use code module for DB theme now we will know how we can use circle counter module for DB theme for a row you have to click here this plus icon regular suppose I am taking one column row and from here this is the circle counter module I am taking this module and with this module you can give this kind of effect circle counter effect for your website with db theme suppose a title goes here i am giving a title number we can change here number suppose 89 percent and elements percent sign you can do on off background you can change background color suppose and you can do all kinds of settings from here gradient effect or you can set image here video here and from design option you can change all settings suppose circle you can change a circle color circle background color you can change circle background color from here circle background opacity you can change from here text you can change a text from here alignment text color light dark suppose i am taking light and text shadow you can use text shadow text shadow horizontal length text shadow vertical length text shadow blur strength you can change everything from here text shadow color you can choose text shadow color like this way and everything you can change from here title text number text everything suppose spacing if i click here padding i need some padding here 
20 pixel 20 pixel 20 pixel and 20 pixel and now I think it's okay but I need some space here text line height space suppose if I go to title text we can uh, change title text from here suppose text alignment we can choose from here text color we can change text color from here title text size we can change from here title line height we can change it from here okay now I think it's perfect and in this way you can play with circle counter module for your website for DB theme now I think you can make a website with WordPress and DB theme if you need any kinds of support for any kinds of web design please contact with me this is my Skype ID and if you like my tutorials please subscribe my channel like and share with your friends thank you